Lenz's law itself is nothing more than conservation of energy. In this video, we are going to elaborate a little bit more on this and explain what we mean by that. To help us do that, let us go back to our bar magnet moving towards the coil. As the bar magnet moves towards the coil, the coil experiences an increasing flux linkage. Lenz's law predicts that the induced current will flow in this direction to set up a magnetic north here facing the magnet to repel the approaching bar magnet and hence slowing it down. Note that in this case, the induced magnetic field is in opposite direction to the external field created by the bar magnet and the net effect is to reduce the increasing flux linkage that the coil experiences. Let us now explain the same phenomenon using conservation of energy. To move the bar magnet, we need to apply an external force on the bar magnet and work is done by the external force. The bar magnet gains kinetic energy and moves towards the coil. As the coil experiences an increase in flux linkage, an induced EMF is set up to cause the induced current to flow. When an induced current flows, kinetic energy of the system is converted into electrical energy which is further dissipated as heat. Kinetic energy of the system decreases and the bar magnet slows down. This means the induced current must be set up in such a way to repel the approaching bar magnet. Hence, by right-hand grip rule, we can deduce that the current must be in this direction. We see that both Lenz's law and conservation of energy predicts the same direction of the induced current. They are coherent with one another. Now, can you try the same exercise for the bar magnet that is moved away from the coil? First, predict the direction of the induced current using Lenz's law. Then, repeat using the conservation of energy. See if the two will both end up with the same result. Pause the video here and try. When ready, play the video again to check your reasoning. In this case, when the bar magnet is moved away from the coil, the coil experiences a decreasing flux linkage. Lenz's law predicts that the current now flows in this direction. To set up a magnetic field towards the right, to try and attract back the bar magnet. And this will slow the motion of the bar magnet in the process. Now, let us use conservation of energy and see if we can get the same result. Again, to move the bar magnet away from the coil, we need to apply an external force which does work on the system. This again imparts kinetic energy to the bar magnet, and as the bar magnet moves away, the coil experiences a decreasing flux linkage. Hence, an EMF will be induced to cause a current in the coil. As the current flows, kinetic energy of the system is converted to electrical energy. Kinetic energy of the system should fall, and the bar magnet will slow down. This means that the induced current must have set up a magnetic field in this direction to attract back the magnet. Hence, by right-hand grip rule, the induced current should also be in this direction, which was also the same direction that was predicted by Lenz's law earlier. Therefore, we see that both Lenz's law and conservation of energy predicts the same direction of induced current. Hence, Lenz's law is said to be just a restatement of conservation of energy. They are coherent with each other. Lastly, let us see what if Lenz's law is violated. We should see that when that happens, conservation of energy will also be violated. Let's look at the case of the bar magnet approaching the coil again. Now, if Lenz's law hold, the direction of the induced current would be in such a way to repel this bar magnet and try and set up a pole here at the facing closer to the bar magnet. Let us let Lenz's law be violated and set up a south pole instead. To do that, the induced current will need to be in opposite direction to what we have predicted earlier. Let us see what will subsequently happen. 
The induced current has now set up a magnetic field, which has the induced current has now set up a magnetic field that will attract the bar magnet further. This will cause the magnet to accelerate towards the coil, which will cause the rate of change of flux linkage to increase, which induces an even larger current, which continues to accelerate the magnet. Can you see what is happening? By doing a small amount of work initially, for example, if I should just give a small flick to the bar magnet, potentially, I can get a larger and larger electrical energy without further input of energy. I have just violated conservation of energy. I am able to create more and more energy from nowhere. Hence, we see a violation of Lenz's law will also mean a violation of conservation of energy. With this, I hope you can see why we say that Lenz's law is nothing more than a restatement of conservation of energy.